Hey everybody, first up on your good news Wednesday, March is over. Woo! March is done. Yeah, March. You like that March? As much as I hate April Fools this year, super excited to see it's April 1st. Other than that, some countries are starting to see their curves flatten a little bit more, always good news. Washington State is being used nationally as an example of what to do. But I also wanted to lift your spirits this Wednesday with some optimism from a superintendent. North Shore Superintendent, Dr. Michelle Reed. I spoke with her on Zoom. Remember, she was one of the first to call it. She canceled school two weeks earlier than everybody else, started remote learning when we were all like, what? I'm a parent in this district. We've been out of school now for a month but listen to her words of optimism as the district now shifts to a different style of learning. I continue to be inspired and energized by our students and our families and our staff who continue to find ways to find joy. We realize that school is important, but in this new normal situation, there are other things equally and perhaps in some cases more important, and that's the health and safety of each one of us. Education comes in a variety of ways. Tuesdays and Thursdays are also now days when the teachers can have focused learning, maybe do a Zoom meeting with the kids. I also asked Dr. Reed though if this is just a lost year. Absolutely not. I think in some ways this will be a memorable year for many years to come. In many ways we're learning things today that we would not have been previously challenged to learn um, about ourselves, about one another, about the systems and structures we trust, and the importance of community. She also pointed to one of my favorite quotes ever actually. Mark Twain said, don't ever let school get in the way of a good education. Great quote, great superintendent. Keep it up, everybody. Bottom line, parents, you're doing great. You don't have to be teacher of the year. Just keep your kids active mentally and physically. You're going to get through this. Real quick before we go here on this Wednesday, a big shout out to Kelly Hansen and her family, her grandmother, who's 91, just beat COVID-19. She's actually being released from the hospital. Everyone's so inspired, so grateful. They say if anyone can do it, Grandma Shar can do it. That's it for this Wednesday. Hope you got some good news out of the deal. Hope you're staying happy and healthy and goodbye March.